What up, guys? It is Zach Man with Micro Profits FX coming back at you to a nice. Uh, we're gonna do a little video on a, a weekly outlook of uh, what the forex market's gonna kind of what we have in store for the week. Um, obviously, we're gonna chalk up last week for the first week of uh, doing this as a uh, loss. We lost two trades, but you know, hey, we can't let one bad week determine the rest of the future, right? We just can't quit after uh, two bad trades, so we got to kind of continue on. Um, like I said, I believe in this system. I know it's going to work. Um, it's just uh, you know about timing and getting into the market just right. So we're going to kind of do a little bit more in depth uh, this week in what we're going to be doing, um, and uh, I believe we're going to have a nice turnaround this week. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, I got a couple of setups here that we're going to be kind of keeping an eye on um, for the week. Uh, the first one is going to be the U.S. CAD, Canadian dollar. Um, as we can kind of see, we do have a divergence here. Uh, we're obviously in a downtrend. Um, and the nice thing about it too is uh, everything's pretty much set up here. Um, I'm going to wait until 8. I, I, I don't really like to, I don't want to place a trade on a Sunday night, but um, hopefully everybody's having a good day. Daylight savings, all that fun jazz here, peeing around here. Uh, Football is about to kick off pretty soon, but obviously the market is closed right now, but um, I'm going to wait until about 8 p.m. Actually, well, time changed now, so 7 p.m. Um, for the next candle to turn to see where we're at. Hopefully, it kind of pulls up a little bit so I can get into it around this mark. Um, but, you know, if it uh, settles lower, it's going to kind of screw up the pips because I want to keep it at about a 300, possibly 400 max. Um, actually, probably about 450, depending on if, like I said, if it gets up, if we can get it to pull back up to here, um, I'll definitely enter it. We want to keep it a rate, yeah, that'd be more, more, more ideally, um, keep it at about a 400 pip drawdown. Um, but obviously, if it, you know, it's going to be going down, so it's going to be a good, uh, good win uh, once we get into the market. So we're kind of looking at uh, getting in right around. Pretty much 600, yeah. So 31,600 would probably be a good mark somewhere, give or take, you know, 20, 30 pips. But um, that is going to be a kind of an entry point, so kind of keep an eye on that. Um, the next one we're going to be looking at is the NZD CAD. So we're going to go to the Kiwi. We're talking, trying to do a video. I don't want to talk right now. All right, so we're going to go to NZD CAD right here. Uh, same thing there. We got a double divergence uh, happening. So we can kind of zoom out. Um, and the nice thing about this one is, uh, not really nice, but the trend is kind of kind of switched a little bit. If we were to, you know, if we follow this as a trend line, it kind of broke out of that actually. So if we were, you know, to do a trend from the top here, probably go to the nearest highest point, which would be this one. Um, I did break out of that, so I'm not quite sold on this one yet we're going to kind of see obviously it is going to be a pullback but um, if you look at the daily chart on it uh, same thing you know kind of well not really the same but it does uh, the trend will go down this way so it does have a chance to let's just move this now move that up there bring that down to where that can so it, got, it does kind of touch there so it does I mean on the daily it looks like it is uh Obviously, it's a downtrend for the daily, um, so that's the strongest downtrend. So again, it kind of touches there, touches there, and it touches there. So um, it hasn't really broke out of this area. So again, we're going to kind of keep an eye on that for the daily. See what happens when it open or closes and opens again tomorrow. If it uh, closes below the line, we'll probably find an entry. If it closes above, then we can kind of signal a we'll wait for a couple more candles to see if it's going to be a change or reversal in the trend. Um, otherwise, we're going to just kind of kind of keep an eye on that, like I said. So. Uh, depend, depending on what it does, like I said, obviously we do have a trend line right here which it, uh, for uh, the downtrend, which it did break through that. Um, so this is another one to kind of enter. Again, we're going to kind of look for a pullback, kind of see if it hits and retests the trend line, and then we'll kind of hit an entry there as well. Um, probably right around 750-ish, maybe. Because, uh, again, we're going to kind of keep a, that uh, stop loss above the support and resistance line there. And again, if it goes all the way down, obviously it's going to give us some pibs there. So um, that one's looking good. Just kind of keep it. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the week. Uh, we've got a couple more. We're looking at the daily chart. I'm um, looking at the Mexico and the USD dollar. The um, 
paste all. So if you look at the trend here, the black line, um, it's kind of right on that. It's kind of bouncing along there right now. Uh, we do have a double divergence for the uptrend as well. Uh, so we're going to kind of keep an eye on that too. Again, we got the support and resistance line down there. So we're going to kind of kind of keep an eye, you know, if we can get in. Uh, obviously, the pivs are a little bit different on that, but it, it, it would definitely double. It's a one to two risk depending on where it goes. If it gets to pulls back a little bit more, but everything's looking pretty positive except for uh, the main trend obviously is uh, down. So, um, but it is bouncing around this channel. So obviously we're on the bottom of the channel. So it could uh, retest the top channel part and then continue to go back down, which we can get in a sell at. So we'll kind of watch this, see how far it goes. Um, I'm not sure if I'll enter the buy. I might just wait for it to retest the channel and then go back in. So kind of keep an eye on that as well. Um, another one to kind of keep an eye on is the Kiwi Chef as well. Um, which we're going to look at that one as an uptrend. And that one actually has a double divergence for the down. Um, on the daily chart, it does show uh, an uptrend as well, but obviously we're kind of getting really close to these trend lines as well. So uh, we're going to kind of keep an eye on that. Um, it did touch and then it obviously went back through. So we're going to look for it to break out of the channel. Um, if it does obviously touch back down the channel or we've got weak support down here, uh, we got some untested support and then uh, some verified support test count three. So it did touch down here three times. So um, we could see that again. It could break through all the trend lines, the channel, and then hit down here. So we're going to kind of keep an eye on that, see if it uh, closes below the channel or through the channel or whatever. So kind of watch that as well. Um, I know the main trade that I really i am looking forward to is probably the US CAD. That's probably the number one trade that I will be entering. The rest of them I'll be just kind of watching um, just to kind of see where they go from there. Now, if you look at the GP cat as well um we can again we can kind of see it break the, the downtrend line there um and it's not i mean it is kind of a downtrend as you can kind of see but it's kind of like a sideways thing going on um but um this could be a good entry as well just because of where it's sitting uh so we'll, we'll look for a pullback especially in the uh tokyo hours usually everything kind of does the opposite in the tokyo hours until the euro and the u.s collide um but we can kind of see you know, there's going to be a good risk reward there as well, depending on where it pulls back to. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that as well. Uh, next up, um, some of the USD pairs. So what do I have here? Okay, so we got the PLN. Um, obviously, we have the trend line going here as well. Uh, so it's kind of touching the support. Uh, we're going to look to see where it breaks out. That's kind of there was no divergence; it's more a trend. Um, if you go to the daily chart. I guess there is uh, some divergence on the daily chart there, it looks like. Um, but you can kind of see the trend line following. So we're going to watch this to see if it breaks up through the trend line first before we enter a buy. So if it does, then it, we can confirm a reversal because the, the channel is showing an uptrend for the daily, which is a strong trend. So we're going to keep an eye on that as well. Uh, if we go to the USD and OK, we're going to look at that one as well. And again, we can kind of see we broke through the downtrend on this one. Um, now this one's a trend. There's no divergence uh, as far as the hour or the daily go, which are the kind of the two that I'm looking at right now. Um, but it is breaking through the downtrend on the four-hour chart. Um, the channel shows it as an uptrend, uh, but we are just kind of seeing it break through. So we could con see, uh, consider it to go down a little bit more to the untested support zones. Um, so we're just going to kind of keep an eye on that as well, kind of see if it breaks through. Uh, this one, if it breaks to this one, one I'm, I'm assuming it's going to continue to go down. So we're just going to kind of keep an eye on it, see what happens there. Um, the next one we have is the Euro, yeah, uh, CZK. Um, we do have double divergence on that one as well. Obviously, it's showing a downtrend on the channel. Uh, if we look at the daily chart, you can see it's a, definitely a downtrend and it's riding right on there quite a bit. So uh, we're going to kind of keep an eye on that too. We got some support down here. Uh, we got the resistant line as well, um, and we have some support uh, right there as well. But uh, we're going to kind of keep an eye on this as well, just kind of see where it goes, see if it bounces from here and goes back up because uh, we're going to be looking to buy entry. We're mainly going to be looking at the daily chart on that one, though, just to kind of get a confirmation that it's, uh, it's going to uh, go above the trend line here. So we'll wait on that one as well. So that's just kind of a little of the updates. I do have some more um, uh trades here we're going to look at it's going to be the usd cnh um again this one's testing the trend line right here as well as a uh, for the daily um there is no divergence on this one uh it's just mainly testing the trends on this one so which is a downtrend 
uh, which we're looking at on here to kind of break through, which it is. Um, so we could have considered it to be a sell, um, possibly to test down here again. Um, but that's going to be a little bit longer of a process. But, you know, we're going to kind of kind of watch that anyways, see what happens. You know, I'm going to look for uh, possibly FC fit. It should probably bounce, come down here, bounce, go back up. Maybe not so much, and then kind of probably head back down. So we're going to kind of see where it bounces from. But obviously a good entry would be right around this area so we can kind of, you know, control our, the risk part of it. So that way, you know, depending on how far it goes to test that out. So um, that's just the outlook, like I said, today um, for the week. Uh, obviously tomorrow, you know, things could change. You know, obviously there's a lot of things going on. We'll see later on tonight what happens with the uh, USD CAD. Um, that's the main one I'm kind of looking at for a pullback. I want to get into that one. This one's looking like a pretty good setup. Um, just with everything going on. So like I said, we have support resistance. We have a downtrend. Um, we have the momentum going down. Just got to wait for a little bit of a pullback. And then obviously the risk reward is going to be good. So and it's got to have patience. So keys to success. Remember that. Support and resistance, trend, divergence, risk versus reward. You know, we want to keep it at a 1 to 2 plus. And obviously with that, I, sh I guess I didn't really just uh, discuss this. But with risk versus reward, it also includes the money management part of it. And uh, what basically what that means is you got to control the money management to be profitable. Um, once things start to get into profit, you know, two or three uh, 100 pibs or whatever, depending on what you're looking at, or 20 to 30 pibs, you got to make sure you kind of you know, control your stop loss, bring it up to break even point. Um, so if it does happen to reverse and go back, you can at least break even. And you can always fight, like I said, you can always find another trade another day, fight another day. So, uh, but if you lose that, you can't. So, um, Support, resistance, trend, divergence, risk versus reward, and patience. Those are the keys to success. And we're going to try that here at Micro Profits FX to see what we can do. Like I said, I, I, I do believe in the system. Um, we just got to kind of have the patience and kind of stick to the keys to success. And then you guys will kind of see how we're going to grow this uh, micro account from very, very little to very, very big. And hopefully uh, that happens uh pretty soon so you guys can actually see it and then uh, kind of you know learn from it use it at your own risk obviously I'm not a financial advisor so I do not I'm not a coach I'm not licensed to do it I'm you know I'm just kind of showing my ideas and my advice if you take it then that's your risk is all on you um, don't risk money that you cannot afford to lose and again I'm not a financial advisor so um, these are, this is my my ideas, my opinions, what I think will be profitable. I don't know your guys' work schedule. I don't know your work ethic, so I don't know how determined you are. But I am not a quitter, and I am determined to get this thing rocking and rolling, so we will see what happens. So um, see you guys on the next update. Otherwise, have a great trading week, and God bless you all. And uh, it's football Sunday, so whatever team you're going for, hopefully they, they uh, win. Uh, unless you're a Chiefs fan, then I hope uh, you don't win because go Vikings.